is going to send a message to the billionaire class. You can't have it all. I'm running for president of the United States because we have four beautiful kids and seven incredible grandchildren. And I want to make sure that the country we leave them is a nation that we are proud of. My mother was born and raised in New York City. She died at the age of 46. We had a three and a half room rent controlled apartment. At that very early age, I think I began to realize the impact that lack of finances have on families. My father came to this country from Poland at the age of 17, worked every day of his life. I grew up in Brooklyn. Many of the families were immigrants and they understood the importance of education. We don't have a strong economy unless we have a very well-educated workforce. That is why I, as president, will fight to make tuition in public colleges and universities free as well as substantially lower interest rates on student loans. At the University of Chicago, I got involved in the civil rights movement. We ended up engaging in a sit-in demonstration. I believe that you're entitled to justice, and to equal rights, whether you're black, whether you're Hispanic, whether you're gay, whether you're transgender, you are a human being. I went to Washington to demonstrate. We went out there on the mall. It was an extraordinary speech. I had the feeling that I was, at that particular moment, part of history. I ended up winning my first election as mayor of Burlington by 10 votes after a recount in an election that nobody thought we could win. I met Jane just about the time of the election. We have been together for 27 years. As president, I will defend this nation, but I will do it responsibly. As a member of Congress, I voted against the war in Iraq, and that was the right vote. I had serious doubts about what Bush and Cheney were telling us. And if you overthrew Saddam Hussein, you could bring a massive amount of instability into that region, and that it would not be quite as easy as people like Donald Rumsfeld and others were telling us. We have got to, as a moral responsibility, provide the best quality health care to the men and women who put their lives on the line to defend us. John McCain and I put $5 billion into strengthening the VA so that any veteran who walks into a VA facility will get quality care in a timely manner. That was one of the major pieces of legislation passed in the last congressional session. I don't want to see people not go to the doctor when they're sick because they can't afford to pay the doctor's fees. The United States must join the rest of the industrialized world and guarantee health care to all as a right. Nothing is closer to my heart as someone who asks kids besides the issue of global warming. There is nothing more important than leaving this country and our entire planet habitable for our kids and our grandchildren. Climate change is real. It is caused by human activity. And we have a small window opportunity to transform our energy system, cut carbon emission, and move in a very different direction. This campaign is about putting Americans back to work at decent paying jobs. Let's get started. Let's put a trillion dollars over a five year period. Let's create and maintain 13 million jobs. Let's make our infrastructure stronger, safer, more efficient. We must establish pay equity for women workers. Bottom line is that if somebody works in this country for 40 hours a week, that person should not be living in poverty. The issue of wealth and income inequality is the great moral issue of our time. It is the great economic issue of our time. It is the great political issue of our time. This type of rigged economy is not what America is supposed to be about. This has got to change. And as your president, together, we are going to change it. I will be working hard to overturn Citizens United. That is the undermining of American democracy and the qualities of this country which have made us the envy of the entire world. Today in America, we have enormous problems. They are solvable problems. This country belongs to all of us. We want to make policy that improves the lives of all of our people. That's how we transform America.